Dear Austin, you're wrong. While watching the science of Minecraft, I realized I had to correct you. Something you forgot to research was the actual teleport mechanism built into the game. But, you know, what I've discovered this week has clarified the Endermen for me a whole heck of a lot. Yeah, what is that, Austin? Endermen don't teleport. And, but I have 12 perfect frames here that explicitly show an Enderman turning and running the instant water hits him. This oh no, you have noticed the default teleporting mechanism that Mojang put into the game. Teleportation does not exist in any game engine at all. Well, maybe there are some that implemented it, but Minecraft's engine does not have that built in. Depending on the engine, teleportation works in different ways. Some teleportation techniques used in game engines include updating the rotation towards the target, then sending them forwards at really high speeds, or by sending them diagonally at high speed. Is a big deal for a couple of reasons. One, it lets me off the hook for doing complicated research on the space-time ramifications of teleportation, and, well, that's about it. It's not a surprise most people haven't noticed this because they run obscenely fast. 36.75 meters in just one fifth of a second, pulling anywhere from 300 to over 1,000 g-forces of acceleration at speeds well over half the speed of sound. They are really putting those long legs to work. Exactly what I just said. Teleportation does not work in a normal situation. Therefore, most engines fake it. Look, I can prove that using the teleport commands in Minecraft do the same thing the Endermen do. I built a machine using command blocks to teleport me between two points over and over and over again. This is how teleportation looks to the player. It just looks like you're blipping between two points of existence. But if you look inside the frames, you'll notice insane little blips. Every once in a while, you'll see frames that will not show up if you're actually teleporting, such as the machine that lies directly in the middle of the two points that we're teleporting between. You should not, we should not see the machine if we were actually teleporting. To me, this looks like Minecraft teleports the character and the camera at different times, or speeds. Looks like I'm gonna have to use the replay mod. Before I show you how teleporting looks from another player's perspective, let me tell you that I was making this up from previous experience. I did not know how true my hypothesis was until I looked at the replay mod. Here's teleporting from two perspectives. This again is how teleporting looks to the player. You see me blip between two points and only sometimes you'll see frames of me glitching. This is how it looks when you're in the eyes of another player. And oh, we're doing the same thing that the Enderman was doing. Now tell me this, does the Enderman teleport? Yes, they do. And this isn't really a spoiler. They run obscenely fast. 36.75 meters in just one fifth of a second, pulling anywhere from 300 to over 1,000 g-forces of acceleration at speeds well over half the speed of sound. They are really putting those long legs to work. They're putting those long legs to work. Well, Steve and Alex don't have that long of legs, and they do move that fast when teleported. No, Endermen don't run, they teleport. Just look at the player again. He's, he's like running between two points. And if you see, the character is flapping his legs between, um, like as if he was walking, but he's really not walking. Alex and Steve, the main characters of Minecraft, run at about 5.38 meters per second. Way, way slower. Wrong. Just look back at what I just said and showed. that Endermen aren't actually teleporting in a game that actually has mechanics that allow for real teleportation, but that they're just running really, really fast? Wrong again. There's no real teleportation here. I just explained how teleportation worked a little while back. Go look at that for more proof. If I, if we, were so wrong about something as fundamental as how these creatures get around, what else were we wrong about? How many of our presumptions about these mysterious non-slender man slender men are completely wrong? A whole hell of a lot, it turns out. Everything you believe about the Endermen is completely 
100% wrong, but- Nah, bro. But remember, remember, it's all it's just, just a theory. A, a game, game theory. theory. That I've just proved wrong. Completely wrong. Thanks for uploading this to the Game Theory channel. It fits well there. And I guess this is where I'm going to leave off. If I left something out, just tell me. I'll add that next time I make a video like this. Bye. And now I kill Audacity.